entities are tied to the entity ID field in item screen. An entity ID may be used to identify different groups within the same reporting entity in order to either exclude or include all items belonging to that particular entity group on reports. When running some of the EIS reports, especially the GAP reports, they will prompt if you want to include or exclude specific entities. For example, this item is really a lot of 20 chairs, which together exceeds the capital threshold and will be capitalized and included on the GAP reports. If they were broken down into each individual chair, each tag would no longer meet the threshold and therefore would not be included on the GAP reports. If you would rather leave the item as a lot, but you don't want the item included on the GAP schedules, you need to enter an entity ID. For example, no GAP on the tag. Then, when running your GAP reports, you want to enter the entity ID in the Exclude Specific Entities. By doing so, the capitalized items containing this entity will not be included on the GAP reports, therefore won't be part of your capitalized assets.